It's going to be an absolutely gorgeous day today, guys. High at 20 degrees. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends. And enjoy the show. They just came home. I was having my coffee. It's about 5 to 7. And I looked up and I saw them swimming up the, uh, the creek. Just coming home, the little sneaks. Unbelievable, these ducks. And the thing is, I don't know why they're coming home because they're not even gonna go uh, into the pen to eat. I think they come back just out of some grass. Oh, the ducks hear me. Listen to them getting louder. They're coming to the front of the pen here. Oh, they're, they're, actually, they're coming over to greet the Muscovies. Yes, I'm going to let you out right now. I'm going to fire off a couple rounds. We'll let the ducks out and I'll go down to the swamp and we'll see if we can catch some flying action. Now watch this guys, these little girls, look at this. Are you gonna rush them girls? I can't believe it, they put a DPL in the game here. Same three geese, guys, going back. They don't like me being near the gate. Three young geese, seriously speed up above. And I'm like uh, 10 feet from the gate. Come on, everybody. Oh, uh -huh, they're heading down the other end, those three geese. Nice, they're back. I'm gonna stand back a little farther here, guys. Those three geese have got a serious problem. Okay, I'm like 30 feet away here. And look at them. Unbelievable. The geese are not the brightest here. Come on, hurry up, come on. Watch, I'm gonna forget about you. I'm going down to the swamp. Okay, they're fast, guys. I, um, I ran down here to the creek. I went around the backside of the barn and ran down here. And uh, they're already thinking about coming down. Oh, there's something they're stopping here. Oh, what's going on? Panic. There's nothing here. I'm standing down here in the swamp. What's going on, ducks? Come on. I'm wearing my wrong glasses. I have a smaller pair that sit on the end of my nose is what I should be wearing and then I can look over top of them and see what's going on here in the surrounding area but I don't see absolutely nothing it's just me down here oh, sorry about this guys I'm looking around here above my glasses and I'm wondering with the camera and I'll edit it out Oh, the comeback. Come on, duckies. More importantly, Miss Gobies. We want to get some flying action here. I think the Miss come back in the morning to get their friends. I think that's what it is. Because you know what? There's no ducks in the pen right now, guys. There's nothing. Except those three. There's three stupid geese in the pen. Uh, that are now going back and forth at the wrong end of the pen. Oh, they're going to drill in the mud. 20 degrees today. I got to get my acting gear today. 
I was planning to go to town. I think I'll postpone it till tomorrow in the rain. And just, uh, I want to get outside here and get a bunch of work done. 20 degrees. And tomorrow's 19, but rain. Oh. Come on, so what are you doing? Oh, you're gonna land. That's bizarre. Why would you stop? Yeah, tomorrow uh, is 20, 19 or 20, but pouring rain all day. Which is actually good for me to uh, give the pen a cleaning because I need to rake the pen out. Uh, all the leaves have finally uh, finished falling off the cedar tree. So it's time to give it a rake. Look at that. Oh, we're going to the lake to play. Hmm. I feel so much better that we're not going to do the call until the lake freezes. There's a group of ducks there just to call and... Look at this. You know, it's not a big flock, but it's certainly cute. Oh, that's a serious ducks in a row, guys. an awesome sight. Oh, Muscovy. Right on. Did that that was all that was actually perfect. There was a male. <laughs> Holy mackerel, look at that. They just all, all of them took off. Geese and the scobies and everybody. Disco. Come on, Disco. Flap those wings. Princess is in the house uh, upstairs, actually, still sleeping at the top of the stairs. When the ducks stop uh, going to the uh, the lake here, because you know there's this, I think it's just this bizarre warm weather we're having that they're so uh, motivated. We'll let Princess come back out and ruin the uh, morning rush. He needs to stay in his groove of uh, coming to work. Uh, somebody mentioned in the comments they were worried that Doug might have something wrong, that he's, uh, you know, uh, uh, got an energy problem or he's sick or something. You guys, you have no idea how much he runs during the day. Uh, when he's out here working, serious activity dog. It's just that he's he's been a lazy morning dog, non-morning dog, I should say, uh, since the day I got him. He has never had any energy in the morning. I honestly think the only way Doug would get motivated in the morning is if there was another dog here uh, to shake things up. And then we would see a different dog. Which I've seen that before, you know, because I've had many, I've had, actually I've had three dogs at once on this property. And uh, the dynamics change, seriously uh, changes. It gets very active when you have that many dogs. It's basically non-stop playing. Okay, these Muscovies uh, look like they're more interested in grazing in the yard. I'll stand down here and we'll wait and see what happens. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show. I wonder if it's the same girls as yesterday. They're right behind me. What a difference when they're not getting hunted on the lake. 
This is the way the ducks should be. I think a mature uh, goose went around the other side of the pan and helped coax those three uh, geese that were trapped in the pan out. Because I heard them, uh, you might have heard it in the video, a bunch of goose honking. And it was two uh, bigger geese up uh, between the house and the pan honking like crazy. And then the, uh, the three that were trapped in the pan are now out. Those three geese don't like me uh, standing near the door, or near the gate, I should say. It's early, guys. I've only had one coffee. This time change thing, uh, I'm out here really early. You know, basically, it's about 20 to 7, uh, I'm getting dressed and start getting ready to come outside to uh, get the ducks into gear for the day. Yeah, I know you guys can flap your wings and accelerate the pace. Why don't you? And people, I'm only going to get rid of the uh, the new ganders. Uh, when I say get rid of, I mean freezer camp for roasted goose. None of last year's geese are going to get touched. No, they're moving as slow as possible here. This is ridiculous. Come on, geese. I know you can move faster than that. You don't almost think they were part Muscovy the way they're moving here. Day at the lake. What a beautiful morning. What a score this week has been. I'm thinking that these Muscovies are the ones that spent the night at the lake. fact that they're uh, eating grass hanging around the yard but they haven't gone into the pen to have a snack so I have no idea what these birds are eating well they're foraging for food naturally but uh, they're not snacking on grain I can hear the ducks at the lake they're having fun down there and these Muscovies are uh, just wasting my time I know it'll happen. I'll go up to the house and uh, I'll turn. I'll, I'll hear the wings flapping and I'll look down and there'll be like six of them flying at once. But they're waiting me out here. I think it's the uh, ones that just came back, and that's why they're in no rush to go back to the lake. Stripper ducks up there. Yep, there she is. Now these muscovies are uh, doing it to me again, guys. I think they're thinking about flying. They're looking at me and they're sort of like, oh, well, you know, I don't know, do we want to fly to the lake or not? They're more interested in foraging around the yard here. Look how skinny that duck is. She almost looks like a runner duck, she's so skinny. Well, she's not going to the lake today, though. She's going to hang around the yard, which is bizarre. Who knows, maybe the mud's too hard for her to go through. But she went down yesterday on her own. Poor little duck. I honestly, guys, uh, I don't think she's going to last long. I think she's one of these ducks, you know, that she's just hanging on. And then one day we're just going to find her dead. She's just had too much, too many bad things happen to her. 
She's had, uh, she's been handicapped by Mother Nature. And she's so pretty though. I think the Muscovies came back to eat. They're, uh, that's all they were doing. They're, they're walking around the yard eating grass. They have no interest in going to the lake. Oh, they spent the night there. They'll go to the lake when I'm having a coffee. Maybe I'll be lucky enough to look out the window and see them flying away because they ain't going to be capturing a video today. They've outweighted me here. Well, we're going to uh, be having a slight delay on the Duck Adventure episodes because uh, I'm not editing. I'm, uh, I'm outside. It's about uh, 20 to 10. I've got to get a bunch of work done and I can't sit inside and edit. Uh, even though I got up at 5 and started editing. I'm uh, I'm just shooting too much footage here. Ducks are giving me like a ton of stuff here. Uh, I just couldn't believe how much footage I shot yesterday. Anyways, guys, so I'm down to the lake here. I'm gonna give you a quick view of some really happy ducks enjoying this absolutely beautiful day. It's already uh, 16 degrees and it's only 20 to 10. It's going to 20 degrees today, so I've gotta take advantage of this and do a bunch of uh, work outside while it's nice because the rain starts tomorrow. See, they, they see me. Look at this. All these Muscovies. Hello, ducks! Hello! Hello, ducks! So tomorrow is supposed to be uh, another 19 degrees but rain all day and then uh, it's back to normal temperatures for this time of year. And the Muscovies are moving and here Doug. Doug, oh, Doug's going in the swamp. You know, it's really hard to see Doug uh, this time of year in the bush. He blends in so well. Okay, Muscovies, I'm coming on the dock here, so you're going to have to move. Hello, ducks. Why don't you come over and see us? I gotta go do some work here. Actually, I've gotta go do some work uh, while the sun's hitting the front of the house. Oh, Doug. We know what Doug just did. He's not running out anymore, guys, onto the dock. He just walks out uh, because I guess after that day, he almost slipped in to the lake. Uh, he learned his lesson, but he still has to walk out and make them jump off the dock. Hello, ducks, come on over. Just listen to them. All oh, the girls are loud. Go on, get off the dock so I can do some work here. Go on, Doug. I don't believe how warm the wind is, but I seriously have to go do some work. As much as I would like to hop in the boat, and uh, I could easily kill a couple hours out here, but unfortunately, the days are so freaking short now that uh, I can't afford to waste two hours of this really nice weather. Well, next week it's supposed to be sunny, guys. Not as warm as like they're talking like highs of eight degrees. Uh, I'll just dress accordingly and the ducks will still be out here. The weather forecast is looking like it's staying pretty nice. There's no uh, deep freeze on the horizon. It's 
some seriously relaxed ducks though. I can't believe how quiet they are. But you know, I'm I'm trying to think here. They've been out. They've been up here on the. They've been out here on the lake. I can't even talk here. Uh, you know, since seven o'clock. They wasted no time this morning coming down here. They're like, coming over to check me out though. A small group. You can tell the ducks are uh, are not getting harassed the way they're scattered all over the lake. They've uh, they've got little pods all over the place. They're not, uh, you know, like all freaked and peaked, stuck in a big clump. So nice seeing them enjoy themselves like this. Peace, you know, not uh, freaked out. They're swimming all over the place. Muscovies are everywhere, though. I wonder where the little cripple duck went from the uh, back room that I brought down here. You know, there was no sign of it last night when I was in the canoe with the flashlight. And this morning it wasn't down at the creek. I just find it hard to believe that one day of swimming and the duck, uh, you know, can uh, walk again and back to normal. Because that's some pretty serious swim therapy. Now I have seen, you know, when they get in the water swimming, uh, it, some, some miracle stuff it does happen. But she was like absolutely no movement. She couldn't uh, stand without her wings. So I don't know where she went to. But if she passed away, at least, you know, her last uh, place that she was was on the lake, being a duck. You know, and she went out happy. Instead of, you know, die, uh, you know, in the kiddie pool in the back room. <laughs> these little ducks going over. They're, uh, they're courting these two males. The geese are sticking in their own little group now. You know, there's the odd goose that's hanging with the ducks. There seems to always be one, you know, that's sort of, I don't know if he's an outcast. Or, but it seems it's always a really big goose too. So I don't know if it's just a, a, one of the big ganders that, uh, you know, thinks he's a duck. But the uh, the rest of the geese are sticking in a group and then you got this one big gander that just hangs with the ducks. Not much is going on. They're really quiet. Actually, guys, it's silent duck action here. Oh, look at that for a good dog. Normally, he's out here shaking the dog. And having me worrying about falling in. Alright, I gotta go do a job that I, I've got to do while the sun's hitting the front of the house. Um, and once I get it done, then, you know, uh, maybe I'll take a break and I'll come back down here and we'll get some boat action. But there's going to be a delay on uh, duck episodes here in the next couple days because I'm going to be officially behind because today I know there's not going to be an episode tonight. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show. Mo is inside here. Well, the, the shed is warm because the sun's beating on it. But this duck, man. Well, you know, guys, ran into complications. Had to go to town today. So I'm, uh, I'm not going to be able to get out on the boat because I'm not, I don't have my jobs done because I had to run into town to get supplies to do the job. <laughs> Unbelievable. I made a mistake and uh, I had the supplies here, but I made a mistake and had to go buy new supplies. Oh, the ducks. You guys are having fun, aren't you? It's unbelievably nice. It's 21 degrees on the north side of my house in the shade. It's unbelievable. Uh, I'm so mad I had to run to town. I uh, I blew it. I wasted like an hour between by the time I went to town, went to the store, got back here. It was a, uh, a complete washout here. 
waste an hour like that? Look at that, eh? She's a little breeder and she's got beautiful feathers. Are you going to fly for us? Well, I'm not going to wait because you guys have wasted so much of my life the last three days. Are you going to go? Are you going to go? <laughs> what a shame I can't be out in the boat. But I have to get this job done because the weather right now is absolutely, you couldn't ask for better weather. I'm, uh, what I'm doing is I've got some windows uh, on my north side of my house and I've got a window that's got a leak in it. Well, not in the leak in the, the thermal pane, but a, a leak in the uh, vinyl seal. And uh, I really should replace the window, but considering I was in the process of losing the house, I really didn't care about it. So I've, uh, I'm gonna put that outdoor plastic where you put it on, you use the hairdryer and so today is the absolute perfect day to be doing it because it said clearly on the instructions the tape said do not apply below 10 degrees celsius and if not heat it up with a hairdryer before you apply it the tape so uh today is the day now i know I, i'm not going to uh, recoup uh, the money in energy savings it's just the comfort factor of getting rid of the drafts because the amount of um, cold air that radiates off the glass on the north side of the house is brutal and I don't have curtains well I have Venetian blinds but they're all in the basement I uh, I, I hate blinds on my windows I want to see outside if I can see you you're trespassing and that's my curtains is my property speaking of the property guys I um I've had I got three messages today and I've had this before but now I guess now with the trolls people are concerned and I appreciate your concern, I really, really do. Uh, but some people think I should hide who I am and my address and the, and the lake, you know, and not let everybody know where it is. Uh, you know, that doesn't work out well when you're trying to do a fundraiser, you know, and you're trying to tell a whole bunch of people that give you, you know, thousands of dollars to do something and then you're gonna hide everything. Uh, that's the making of a scam. And we're not scamming here on the Duck Adventure. You know, I've been so transparent on everything I'm doing here. You know, you you see the ducks went to the homeless shelter. You know, it's, you know, the, the Good Shepherd Mission, you know, they tweeted, they got the stuff and they're happy. And I'm hoping we're gonna get down there to uh, to do a film. I'm, I'm talking to them about it and, uh, you know, they're, they're pumped. They'd like me to come down actually. So, you know, I'm not worried about it, uh, you know, because, you know, we had the news here, you know, you can't be, you can't be anonymous and have the news show up in your property. It doesn't work that way. So I'm not too worried about trolls. Uh, you know, I, I'm on a gated property. I'm surrounded by bushes that you've got to trespass on other people's property uh, to get to me. I got a dog that barks his head off for any noise. You know, we're, we're set up here to deal with predators 24 seven. So I'm not too worried about a, a bunch of humans if they think they're going to come here because you know, think about it guys, you're watching the show. What's on my back most of the time in the show. If it's not most of the time, have you ever seen an episode that there isn't something on my back? You know, put it that way. Uh, you know, who's going to come to a YouTube show to cause problems? when the guy in the show is walking around with something on his back all the time you know it's like you'd have you'd have to be really really stupid i don't care how bad these trolls are they're not that stupid so you know i appreciate the concern though and you know i i i i you wouldn't believe how I, I appreciate it. actually you know what it makes me feel it makes me feel good that i have so many people out there that that care about me and that are worried about me and uh you know and i say thank you uh that you know i can't ask for better fans you know that you guys are worried about my safety and uh you know it touches me it does so i just want to let you know that's the deal here i'm not worried and i don't want you to worry i just want you to enjoy the show and you know let the trolls troll well, we don't have to worry about the trolls in person because believe me, no one's going to come here and screw around. I know they won't. Like I said, you'd have to be really stupid. So I just want to clear the air on that one. Yep, lay right in the duck poop. Oh, man, the, it's just covering duck poop where he's laying. But he's watching his ducks. <laughs> he rolled on his side and almost went off the dock. Oh, it was funny. Too bad I couldn't hide the camera pointing the wrong direction. So this is what he was watching. These ducks playing. They're really enjoying this nice weather. The lake's cool right now, so it's nice for them to uh, to be in the water. We're talking some seriously happy ducks here, though. They're having a good week here. I feel so much better that we're not going to do the cult of the lake's frozen. 
But guys, I gotta go do my job because I've gotta put this film up while it's warm and uh, it's already three o'clock and I feel the temperature starting to drop. So I've gotta get the film on the water and get the old, on the water, on the windows and get the hair dryer fired up here. So I gotta get back to work, unfortunately. Well, the ducks are uh, juicing it right to the end here tonight. It's uh, 4.35 and I'm working in the yard here and I'm hearing all this quacking. And they're down there in the creek. They're not ready to come back yet. The Muscovies came back, but I know they're going to leave. And actually, the Muscovies this time, guys, came in and ate in the feeder. So it took them, I think it's been two or three days since I've seen them eat in the feeder. But they're, uh, they're, they're just ringing the day out right to the end here. I can't believe how, know how warm it is, guys. The wind, uh, it feels like a hairdryer. It actually feels like a furnace. That's what it feels like. The, uh, the, the wind is so warm. Now, there's supposed to be a big rainstorm coming, so we'll see what happens here. But the ducks are uh, taking their time. So, I gotta get back to work, though. I just wanna show you, uh, they're ringing her out right to the end. Right to the end. And here's the group of Muscovies that came back. They, they've been back about 45 minutes an hour. And they've just been like power, power pounding the food back. So I, uh, I suspect that these birds are going to leave. Shortly. Actually, I think the only reason they haven't left is they're confused. Because the gate blew shut. Something tells me they're going to uh, leave right now. They were standing looking at the gate, so who knows? Ducks. They went in the big gate. No, nope, they're not going anywhere. I get back to work. I'm running out of daylight here. All right, I'm, I just don't believe it. These, these birds are killing me. Look who's sneaking back to the lake. They came back, they did have a snack today. And now they're heading back to the lake. Unbelievable, these Muscovies. Now, I don't know if that's the first group or not, guys, because I'm uh, I'm actually working away here. I was doing a bunch of electrical work, replacing some plugs that uh, somehow got destroyed over the years. And uh, I looked up and there's these three birds sneaking back. Oh, actually, there's a fourth one. I didn't even see that one. So I don't know who's already gone down to the lake. Like I said, I've been working away. But uh, the Muscovies have definitely got uh, an idea in their head. Or I should say a, a, a routine. And it ain't staying home. I wonder who's down at the lake already. Oh, there goes the Muscovy uh, migration, guys. I was in the pen working and uh, I saw them getting in position. But by the time I got over here, they had already uh, started to take off. And then a bunch, uh, I could hear their wings flapping behind me. I was in a bad position again, guys. I thought I got in a good position and it turned out it was bad. I think these ones are going to walk down. I'm going to throw a jacket on and go to the lake. Most bizarre thing, I, when I came down here, I heard a quack. And Muscovies don't quack. So there's one male and four females. It looks like two males are down there. And four females over here. So I don't know, we're getting more coming down here every night? These birds. But you know, the Muscovies, you know, once they start flying, this is the stuff they do. And this is why I think they're so cool. You know, to have a bird that can, you know, take off, fly, and just, he can leave, she, they, can, they can just leave, well, the females can leave anytime they want. 
and they don't, it tells you you must be doing something right for them. They know this is home. It's just that they've got a lot of room to play. They swim so low in the water. I like to lean them forward. Well, they're all going down to hang down there. I guess that's where they feel safe. Well, I know there's a piece of high ground there that um, is absolutely completely surrounded by water. And there's no way anything uh, you know can get to them. Yeah, uh, pitcher's getting grainy here. Lights, light levels are declining quick. You're getting so good at this not tipping me on the dock while I'm filming. It's only taking me all summer of making him stay at the end of the dock that finally he realizes that he has to stay at the end of the dock. Watching his Muscovies. About dug and, and chasing birds uh, when they fly, guys. Um, Alan, it was Alan that made the uh, the comment about that. That you know, I've got to stop Doug from doing that. Um, the problem is, is that I need him chasing birds because one, he chases hawks and he chases seagulls. And uh, you know, the seagulls come into the yard to get the ducklings, and the hawks come in to get the ducks. And uh, you know, I need Doug to chase them. I just got to get him. And this is going to be a trick. He's teaching a dog that a white duck is a no-no, uh, but everything else is open game. I've just got to get it so that he knows that ducks are a no-no, uh, you know, flying ducks. And, you know, really this is only his his second uh, year, you know, well, second fall, you know, with flying uh, ducks. So I think I'll get him that he's not, uh, you know, chasing the ducks. But I've got to keep him so he chases everything else because it's, you know, it's really important that uh, even though it drives me nuts with the crows, I'm going to wait in case some Muscovies fly down. Well, I waited so long uh, down at the dock, hoping to catch some Muscovy flying action. All the ducks are in the pen. Well, except for some Muscovies here at the front. But nobody else flew down. I patiently waited till uh, the viewfinder was so grainy that I, you know, I knew that any footage I caught would be garbage. I tried. That's all I can do. Oh, and ducks, in you go. <laughs> Sidewinder. I'm surprised any Muscovy stay here. So tomorrow, uh, I don't know what's going to happen here. We'll do a morning rush, of course, like usual, and uh, get the ducks to the water. But, uh, well, it depends if it's pouring rain, I might be doing it with the pivot heads. But I've got to go on a road trip tomorrow because we need duck feed and straw. So we're going to go see Robert. And hopefully the old truck does the round trip. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends.